Welcome back to the Cheltenham Football Club, celebrating 110 years of the mighty Rosellas. The early Cheltenham Football Club signs began playing on a regular basis in 1895 and would travel long distances by steam train to play country signs such as Ballarat where they would arrive at their destination, play the game, socialise, return and leave from the station and opposition players and supporters would give three hearty cheers on the departure. The Cheltenham home games were played on a paddock near the corner of Park and Charman Roads Cheltenham which was made a reserve. In 1907, the Cheltenham Progress Committee made application to the Board and Land Works for land in Wetherill Road, Cheltenham for recreational service to the public. The application was received and granted where the current Cheltenham Recreation Reserve now stands. The land in those early days was virgin bush and the response for voluntary help to clear the area was outstanding. Nearly all the market gardeners in the district, along with horses, ploughs, axes, shovels, etc., completely clear the area in three weeks. The Moorabbin Council then levelled the playing area and erected a post and rail fence around the ground. Pine tree shrubs were then planted on the west side of the ground. The ground was opened in 1909 and the first Cheltenham side entered in the newly formed Federal Football Association along with three other foundation members, Mentone, Morty Alec and Ellendale. The grand final for that year, 1909, was a hard encounter between Cheltenham and Ellendale, with Cheltenham coming out victors, thus winning the first Federal Football Association Premiership. Cheltenham went on to win five senior premierships in the Federal Football Association by the end of the 1920s. They won the flags in 1909, 1911, 1913, 1922, 1925, with the late Percy Woff playing in all five premiership sides, playing at 15 years of age in 1909 and captaining the 1922 Premiership side. The late Wally Rose, who was a champion cricketer as well as footballer, played in three Cheltenham Premiership sides with Percy Woff in 1913, 1922 and 1925. Nineteen twenty eight saw the start of an outstanding career by Tom Connors, our oldest living player, and one of four Connor brothers, Jack Meggs and Leighton Connor, who played in the nineteen thirties and nineteen forties. There were many great players for Cheltenham in the nineteen thirties, and Tom Butler was one of the finest, playing over four hundred games during a career which spanned over twenty five years. Cheltenham continued to win premierships in 1920 and the 1930s, with juniors taking out the 1929 and 1933 flags. And they continued the double in 1934, taking out both first 18 and second 18 premierships. 
1935 saw the young Arthur Rose showing his presence as a Cheltenham footballer and he was to go on and continue the Rose name in football following his father's footsteps the late Wally Rose. Arthur Rose being both captain and coach of Cheltenham for a number of years. The 1940s saw new Cheltenham legends starting their careers. Jack Bucker, Jim Sloss, Jeff Farnback, Eric Whitecross, Jim Brooks and Norm Wilson, giving Cheltenham great service during the 1940s and 1950s. Jeff Baker was 13 years old when he first played for Cheltenham under 18 side and was captain of the under 18 side for three years before playing for Cheltenham first 18 at 16 years of age in the 1946 grand final. Cheltenham produced its only Brownlow medalist in Peter Box who played in the late 1940s before going to Footscray where he became a champion. Cheltenham continued to show its strength in the 1940s but unfortunately were runners-up in the seniors in 1946 and runners-up in the juniors in 1942 1948 and 1949 Cheltenham continued to field science during the war years 1939 to 1945 The early 1950s saw Arthur Rose at the helm as coach until 1952. Vin Hogan arrived from North Melbourne in 1953, bringing with him some of the old freighters Heatherton players. Eric Plunkett led the first 18 in 1955 as captain and coach. And Bill Ossell, who came from Moorabbin, took over in the late 1950s and guided the club to a second 18 premiership in 1958 but the seniors could not win a senior flag. 1959 saw all three Cheltenham sides making the finals with Kevin Roberts and Bob Arnfield finishing first and second in the first 18 Federal League Best and Fairest and Jack Barker winning the Best and Fairest in the Federal League second 18. The third 18 were runners up in the grand final in 1959 with Kevin Butlin running second in the Federal League third 18 best and fairest. Jack Barker. Jack started playing for Cheltenham at 16 years of age and played over 400 games between 1940 to 1965 winning three senior best and fairest with Cheltenham and the Federal League second 18 best and fairest in 1959. Jack has been a great player and administrator for the club over many years. Bob Arnfield. Bob was one of the most skillful big men ever to play Federal League football winning Best and Fairest Seniors, Cheltenham, 1957. Runner-up, Federal Football League, First 18, 1959. Kevin Roberts. Kevin was one of Cheltenham's favourite sons, winning the Federal Football League's first 18 best and fairest in 1959. He went on to play over 100 games with St Kilda before returning to Cheltenham in the mid-70s to finish his playing career. The 1960s saw Peter Lucas and Arthur Gooch from Collingwood show their presence with Cheltenham being beaten by a kick 
after the siren against Springvale in the 1960 preliminary final. Max Jost took over in the early 60s and coached for a number of years. Tom New from Brighton took over coaching the young Cheltenham side and took them to further heights without winning a senior flag. Cheltenham had great success with their junior signs winning the third 18 premierships in 1967 and 1968 and the fourth 18 premierships in 1962 and 1968. John Deere showed his class for Cheltenham in the early 60s, winning two Federal League Junior Best and Fairest in 1961 and also in 1962. Eddie Williams played three years in Cheltenham third 18 in the 60s, being captain for the last two years and went on to win the Best and Fairest at senior level. Maury Hewitt. Maury was one of Cheltenham's greatest ruckmen, winning the Federal Football League's first 18 Tropicana Award for the best and fairest in 1972. Maury won Cheltenham's first 18 best and fairest in 1966, 1972 and 1974. Maury joined Percy Waff and Andrew Webster to be one of the few selected players to play for Cheltenham first 18 at 15 years of age. The 1970s saw the first 18 playoff in two grand finals. The first, under coach Tommy New in 1974, saw Cheltenham go down by one point to Hyatt, and in 1976, under coach Ian Cooper lost to Mentone by six points. Jack Hammond and Roy Higgs coached both the juniors and the seniors in the 1970s with great success, winning junior flags along the way. The Therns went through undefeated in 1974, winning the premiership with Trevor Barker, a key player before going to St Kilda the following year. The Therns under coach Jack Hammond were premiers again in 1975 and the fourths were runners-up in 1973 and 1975. David Kilburn, as a young coach, took the fourth 18 to a grand final in 1978. Trevor Barker. Trevor played for Cheltenham in the juniors in 1973 and 1974, winning the best and fairest in both years and playing in a premiership side in 1974 before going to St Kilda, where he became a champion, winning the club's best and fairest in 1976 and 1981. He was St Kilda's best club man in 1979 and club champion in 1981. He was selected in St Kilda's Team of the Century in 2001 and the Hall of Fame in 2003. Trevor was Vice-Captain St Kilda from 1980 to 1982 and Captain of the Seniors from 1983 to 1986. A true champion. Cheltenham had mixed success in the 1980s, with Ross Embom taking the first 18 into the finals in 1980. The great Jerry Callahan, who had coached Williamstown and played in five premierships with them, was Cheltenham's last senior coach when the Federal League finished in 1981. Cheltenham then joined the South East Suburban Football League under Jerry's coaching in 1982 and he was able to help guide them to become a force in later years. Ray Parley, Ian Goodchild and Peter Walsh were to follow Jerry and coach Cheltenham in the mid-80s, with Cheltenham making the finals in the seniors 
in 1984, 1985 and 1986. With only the fourth 18 taking out the 1981 Premiership. The 1990s brought back memories of Cheltenham's early years, with them winning three senior premierships under coach Barry White in 1992, 1993, and 1995. They were great years. Cheltenham was very successful in 1995, winning premierships both in 1st 18 and 4th 18. And runners-up in 2nd 18. Cheltenham 3rd 18 were premiers in 1996. And runners-up in 1997, under coach Jeff Lyon. Jeff, as junior coach, had worked tirelessly on recruiting young players to help give the club its success in the 90s. Brian Winton took over as senior coach in 1996 and took the seniors into the finals in two occasions. Brendan McConnell and Anthony Thomas both won three first 18 best and fairest awards with Cheltenham. Brendan winning his in 1987, 1988 and 1989. Anthony winning best and fairest in 1994, 1995 and 1996. Two great players for the results. Barry White returned to Cheltenham as coach of the seniors in 2000 and 2001 with not the success of his early years. Andrew Butterfield took the helm in 2002 and 2003 with Steve Kennedy senior coach in 2004. Stephen Neen did a magnificent job during season 2004, taking on the job of President, Secretary and Treasurer in the one year. David Selick and David Kilburn showed their skills as coaches, taking the under-19s to Premiers in season 2000 and 2001. With David Selick also taking the second 18 to preliminary final in 2004. A job well done. The club congratulates Tony Jelliffe on playing over 400 games from the 1970s to the end of the 1990s joining the late Tommy Butler and Jack Barker in achieving that milestone, winning Best and Fairest Seniors in 1993 and Reserves in 1982, 1985, 1998. Jenny Addison administration contributions as Secretary throughout the 1990s were outstanding and helped to give Cheltenham their great successes. Steve King. Steve joined Cheltenham from Bo Morris Football Club, arriving with the great Jerry Callahan in 1981, taking on the duties of bar manager. And he also joined the committee and continues those duties today after 25 years of dedicated service to the club.
Cheltenham has had some great administrators over the past 110 years. Those that stand out were the late Clarky Taylor and Jack Drynan, whose roles as secretary to the club spans more than 60 years between the two of them. Their administration and communication skills were unquestionable. Tom Goods and John Rowe have spent more than 80 years between them in administration roles as president, secretary, team manager, etc. to help give the Cheltenham Football Club the strength and power that continues today. Two thousand and five sees a bright start for the Rosellas with Ron Jenkins as president, Colin Anderson as secretary, and Rob Everett as treasurer, and coach Neil Hassel at the helm, with Paul Tinsley as captain and Sean Rowe as vice captain. We wish them well for the future of this great club. <laughs>